Why don't you eat? Why don't you eat? Just tell me what's why you don't eat your husband, Papa. Hey? Um, tum, tum, chu, sabraten, Betty. And then I must once more tell you to eat. Then I will right away send you out from the house out. So, you hear? I won't have it. I won't have it. You go to school with my money and you stay there all day in my car and you study hard. You come home and you don't get a good Oh, come on, baby. And I say, what's this? What's this house? I won't have it. I won't have it. What? Why did you say something? Why did you say something? And why your father is not? What's this? What's What's it was? Why oh, not? Don't Mom. talk to me. Don't talk to me. Do not get up. I don't have it. I don't have it. She loved him 
There's a story, or I'm no reporter. He is believed to be the victim of an organized ring of saboteurs. More news later. Huh, sounds like there might be a story at the plant, Lois. Lois? Me name is Lois, not Lois. Gee whiz, everybody in Triple H me name wrong. It's Lois. L-O-U-I-S. Lois. Er, uh, uh, Louise. Er, uh, Lucy. Uh, now I'm so mixed up, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Take your post in the main shop. Be on the alert. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, pardon me.
I wonder what the big shot was. That was a good job you did on the watchman last night. Now, uh, how about that dynamite charge under the shops? It's wired to the switch on the plant floor below. But the new watchman pulls that switch tonight, the whole oh, place... Shh. in the torpedo. Okay, stand by. Ready? Look at me! 
Are we? Ah, okay. I'm not hearing any audio. Hmm. Hello, hello. I, I hear myself. Now what? No sound at all. You hear me? Hmm. Don't hear it, huh? I don't hear it. Now you won't hear it. Now you won't hear it. You hear me? That's not enough. What the hell happened here? Pardon my French. Please stand by, everyone. I'm adjusting the audio. Huh. No, no, no. Hmm. I don't want to have to restart. I don't want to restart this. You were going so good. I must have just touched something on the keyboard. But this is not work. This is not working. No, no, no. Hmm. Why is it doing that? Play back. Uh, audio. Aha. Here we go. It's way too loud. How about that? Under my power, look into the hypnotic eye. Time now to enter Mr. Lobo's domain. Look out! Open your mind to the possibility that they're not bad movies, just misunderstood. You're not dreaming. You're watching cinema in Sonic. You're not dreaming. Cut it out. Cut it out, Betty Boop. Come on, Betty Boop. Are you always drunk? Always? Anyway, you're not dreaming. This is your misunderstood, very misunderstood Monday. Uh, we've got a movie for you tonight. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, Grumpy Panda, Francis Seven, Miss Monty, Brian Troutman of the All Singing, All Dancing Troutman family, Lex Kovsky. Lexi, how are you? Fangar, the Fangarius. 
uh, Carlos, vampiric spirit. Some people hear it. Some people fear it. Crocodile. I, I know over on YouTube there's some folks too. Let me see if I can peek over on the YouTube. Miss Mittens, I, Miss Mittens is letting me use her phone here. I'm going to see if I can see some of the people on the YouTube. YouTube. Uh, oh, a commercial. Fantastic. So I can only assume there's somebody. Actually, I can check right over here. Let me pull up this tab here. Aha, Prince Everlove and Agent J and Eric Rainwater and Gen X Slacker. Hello, all. Kevin Turner. Greetings, greetings. Uh, YouTubers. This, we're not, we usually don't live stream to YouTube, and I don't know if it's still playing over there. Are we jammed up? Is it actually working? Just, a, just commercials. Just nothing but commercials on YouTube. Still playing. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to go back over, pop back over. Uh, the ads on YouTube, so all systems monetize. That's right. We might finally crack a $100. Ads on YouTube, so all systems monetized. Yes, thank you, Industrial Debris. Uh, 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 yeah, we've got, uh, you know, only like, you know, 500 hours of content on there for two years, and we've all, we might, maybe we can crack a hundred bucks. We're, we get, we're still hoping. Um, so, uh, anyhow, gang, uh, this, of course, is uh, our Misunderstood Movie Monday. Saturday, we attempted this simulcast with YouTube also for our big premiere of our Zombies of Sugar Hill episode. Unfortunately, YouTube hates that episode. And it doesn't seem to be the movie per se, but everything else it seems to hate. The, the, the commercials... The sound cues, the jungle sound cues. I don't know if they were ripped from a Tarzan movie or something, but there's just a uh, in, insurmountable amount of of uh, copyright strikes uh, uh, or whatever claims, I should say. Crafter Mouse, well, hello, Miss Wendy. How are you? Seeing see any interesting sharks lately? Um. And AI is a jive turkey, yes. So we had an exciting premiere, and and we the pre-show I think went off without a hitch. Um, but once it got into the movie part or the episode, we uh we lost our YouTubers. I think about twenty minutes in or something. Uh, I don't know if if some of them came tried to come over here to Twitch. Some people just won't do Twitch. I don't know why. Why it's so intimidating. You just you just sign up, and then you've got a username. You don't have to broadcast anything, and then you just watch videos, right? I mean, how? I, what's what is what is the what is the the holdup for people? Is, does anyone can someone? Maybe I'll go over to YouTube, and 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 find out why YouTubers won't ever go to Twitch, no matter what. Let me see if I can get an answer over here that makes sense. YouTube's nitpicking on the wrong channels. You're right, Prince Everlove. A lot of smart TVs have YouTube app, but not Twitch. So people like watching on their TVs. Although I, you can cast, uh, you can cast Twitch to your TV, but only certain ways. So maybe it's not as ubiquitous. Okay, that's a good reason. I, I'm a reasonable man. I just. How many platforms do I need to manage? That's the question. Excessive adjustments for Twitch? It, could you, def Deadly Manus, could you def re say that in plain English for me? Excessive adjustments for Twitch? Twitch is for gamers. Doesn't have to be. I'm 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 here. Vine or MySpace. <laughs> Those are some great suggestions. Yes. Perhaps I could go on it. You know, two cans and a string. 
your art pals draw on Twitch? You want to be in my top eight? <laughs> <laughs> yes, very helpful. So anyhow, uh, let, let me tell you a little bit about uh, the uh, Sugar Hill episode sponsored by Black and White Projects Gallery. And uh, we it's a great episode. You can watch it on the Roku channel. That's another thing that not everybody does. But if, you, if you've got a Roku, uh, OSI 74 uh, is the way to watch. OSI 74 is Mr. Lobo's channel. OSI 74. Uh, and you add that to your Roku, it's free, and you can watch uh, like 150 Cinema Insomnia episodes. Now, uh, it is on the osi74.com. It's very easy to look at on your laptop, but on phones, I'm having problems. So we, we were going over that today. I was hoping that Spin Master Scott and I could have a conversation about why the videos play so like it plays like the size of a piece of confetti on my phone it almost looks like something you want to scratch off your phone and then you're like oh wait no that's a video playing hacksaw haney just might have the rabies that's what he says you shy away from chatting on youtube attracts a lot of trolls and spammers hmm? uh hydro spammers even so, so let me tell you about a thing we do, because a lot of YouTubers are not familiar. Mr. Lobo is also an artiste. I do live art on my, on my live streams that we've been doing. And I usually draw something somewhat related to the movie, not always related to the movie. And on Saturday night, I drew a drawing of uh, Sugar Hill, the title, the titular character, Sugar Hill, from the movie. And uh, so this is my my version, my drawing of Sugar Hill that we did in the live stream. And uh, there she is. Thick thighs save lives, everyone. So I I did this drawing for you folks, and it is the 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 way that I drew her in the episode. We do a whole fashion breakdown of all the outfits she wears in the movie as a skit. And so Tony, Tony Griggs, uh, he, I believe, became an associate producer or bought something in the shop or helped us with our L.A. trip. But he did some minor donation and was put in the drawing for the drawing. And he won. He won. And what's great about that is that I can't roll this back up. That's what's great. Um, there we go. Uh, now Hacksaw Haney. Her chi-chis are not that big. That's wishful thinking. We see what we want to see. Um, now, now. We were behaving so well. So anyhow, I wanted to thank all of the people because we got an insurmountable amount of people who wanted to be in the drawing and some people who donated for other people so they'd have a better chance. Um, but Black and White Projects Gallery, I believe there were other people who donated so that they, because they, they were so grateful for them to sponsor, I guess, that they wanted them to get that drawing. Uh, Sunny, of course, our, our junior sleepless night, eight-year-old Sonny uh, was in the drawing for the drawing. Morbius 71 was in the drawing for the drawing. Another one for black and white. And I believe that was sponsored by somebody. Back in the day, Agent Tarvis, I Island Roses. Are these old ones? Maybe these are from another drawing. No, this is from last night. Ms. Mavis. VR Commander, is that? Lazulia. Marty Macabre, maybe these are old ones. Well, no, I remember, maybe they got mixed in. She-Hulk was one of them, yeah, I remember that. Lex Kovsky, yeah, I remember that one. Doctor Who 42, I remember that. Chico. Melissa Tapley, no, that was from Saturday Night. 
Agent Shet. We just had a lot of people who were in on this drawing. Ty Moncrief. Ty Moncrief. Grandpa Monty. And Make My Monkey. Make My Monkey. So anyhow, thank you all for uh, making our drawing a success because that, that equated to a lot of support for the channel, for the studio, for Cinema Insomnia, for our California trip that we're trying to do. So you guys are, you guys are the dream team. You were making it possible for us to, to still be here. You know, I'm not, Mr. Lobo's not a greeter at Walmart. So thank you. Uh, so Miss Mittens just wants to say hi to everybody. I think Miss Mittens has a couple friends on YouTube. All right, that's enough. Dirty, what a dirty mouth. What a dirty girl. I, you know, I give her a little bit, you know, I let her, hey, why don't you say something nice? And then right away, just gross. So I apologize. She's already been, you know. So anyway, uh, let's have a game. <laughs> hi, honey. Let's have a game, shall we? Let's do this. Let's do this. Bring in this game. Where is my... Where is my... Uh, I need a dry erase marker. Come on, a dry boy. Where are you? Let's see here. I see it. All right. Where my doohickey at? Can't say doohickey on, on YouTube. Oh, ban you. Take your monetization away. Okay. So I have, I have, <laughs> let's have a game where I can make a rhyme bah, bah, out of anybody's name. Dun, dun. Clammy, clammy, bobammy, banana, fana, fofammy. Hey, Clam, do you have a uh, a letter from the alphabet that you want to throw at the uh, at the showplace scramble board for our hangbot game? I still don't know why YouTube. I, okay, let me check on the YouTube folks. You guys still breathing over there? Okay, looks like something's happening. Yeah, I see myself looking at myself. <laughs> now I'm hearing what's happening over there and it's in a delay. Oh no, I got to I have to stop cuz now I'm hearing myself twice. Ah, it's killing me. It's killing me. I have to stop it. All right. Whew. All right. I'm pausing the YouTube. All right. R is the thing. Let's see if I remember what the puzzle was. Wow. You found a way. To pick a letter that is not represented in any way, shape, or form, I'm going to put the robot head up here. Okay, so there he is. Robot head is there. Um... So I'm going to I'm going to actually pick someone over on YouTube. Um Let me see here. Maybe I'll turn the volume down on the YouTube one. There we go. Then I'll play it. Then I won't go insane hearing my voice in Dolby. Uh Virtual Vicky um <laughs> 
Uh, Virtual Vicky, I'm going to call on you today. This Sunday, 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 Sunday. Uh, do you have a letter of the alphabet? I know there's like an extreme delay. Ms. M Ms. Mavis, you're so naughty. You can't be on both. You got to choose. No, you can be on both. Virtual Vicky's going to pick the letter A. Okay. <laughs> No A. Wow, amazing. All right. So there it is, a little more of the robot. Uh not a Canadian puzzle then. <laughs> no, eh? Take off, eh? Thanks for playing though, Virtual Vicky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually be nice here. I'm gonna pick one other person while I'm on uh, YouTube still. YouTube, uh, Prince Everlove, who's been a fan for over 15 years, uh, a, 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 a person who enjoys our DVDs. We had, we had uh, several that we put out through Apprehensive Films. And then they were out on Alpha DVD, and I believe uh, 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 Prince Everlove has uh, broke the bank on the Alpha DVDs. Do you, uh, Prince, do you have a, a letter of the alphabet you want to tell Mr. Lobo about? Do you have a letter that you think is in this puzzle? We know there's no A or no R. E, ah, yes. The Sherlock Holmes Doctor Who method of deduction. Try the most common, common letter in the English language. Try E. E, brilliant, Holmes. Yes. Elementary. All right. So here we go. There is one E. Good job. Very well done. There's two E's. There's three E's. E. That's right. Good job, Prince Everlove. Excellent. Too clever for this. Uh, you have a guess. You have a guess. You get to guess. That's what you win. You get to guess what the answer is. And then I'm going to pop back over to Twitch here. Yay! You got a guess or we're going to let it roll? Those are our two choices. No clue. Ha ha ha. All right. Well, well played. We're going to move on. And we're dropping back over here to my beautiful, loyal, patient Twitch family here. Sinsomniac Core here on Twitch. MST3K Exter is raising their hand. Do you have a letter? MST3Xter? 3Xer? MST3KX, sir. Z. You just want this robot to die. Oh, there's no Z. Okay. So we've got an arm on the robot. Uh, all right, Ms. Mavis. Lovely, uh, talented Miss Mavis, who's on two platforms here tonight, YouTube and Twitch. Um, oh, Sunny's got her hand up. We'll do go. We'll go for Sunny next. I think. 
You deserve that. You got a letter? Ms. Mavis? Hello, you say S. Okay, there is an S. Right here. Right there. Good job. You have a guess there, uh, Ms. Mavis. Yay, I didn't kill him. No guess. Okay. Is, uh, uh oh, the bottom word isn't cheese. <laughs> uh, Hacksaw Haney, uh, I know I'm going to regret this because there's probably going to be some farting or fart jokes of some kind. But do you, do you have a letter that you want to guess for the puzzle? Actually, you know what? Hold, save that. Save that. I told Pro Sunny I was going to pick her next. So hold on. Sit on that. Hacks off for just a second. Sunny, you got a letter? That's it. Pull my finger. I guess I asked for that. U. All right. Letter U. Is it U? Uh, does um, does Sonny have a guess? Underdog. U for underdog is what Fanger is saying. Kill the bot. Kill the bot. Sunny never has a guess. She just likes guessing the letters. All right. Axaw Haney, since I, I was, uh, uh, you just, you, you, yes, you have a letter. That's all you have to do is pick a letter. Clam just figured it out. The Underoos packaging was always interesting, you know, because it would be a cartoon character thinking of this cartoon bubble, and then there'd just be like a boy in his underwear. Like, this isn't right. Who signed off on this? You don't want like Boba Fett sitting there thinking about a 10 year old in their underwear. Uh, L. L. All right. There is an L. Right there. You want to guess this, uh, Hacksaw? You want to toot this one out? Nothing up my sleeve! Ba, 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 nothing up my sleeve is the answer. Yes, good job. Nothing up my sleeve, presto. Maybe I better get a new hat. Oh. 
Oh, that trick never works. Um, so nothing up my sleeve. Uh, you know, we've been talk talking all about magic and voodoo, and I thought, you know, that might be somewhat vaguely connected. Uh, tonight we're showing a movie called Voodoo Band from 1944, and I know a lot of you have the same question. But why, though? And the answer is, well, YouTube kicked us off for just about the most silliest things. And this is a movie from 1944. So I'm hoping, hoping against hope, that this is a movie that is old and broken down enough for us to play that our new YouTube friends can enjoy and we can enjoy here for a misunderstood movie. Uh, so we're not going to be able to get away like bloody with bloody murder like we did last week with Ice Pirates. Um, so it is about T minus eight minutes to chalky milk time. Uh, let me explain for a minute chalky milk time. We have uh, Perry White, sometimes Perry Milk. Sometimes Perry Brown, but he's the uh, publisher of the Daily Planet. And the big news is, is that 1037 Eastern Standard Time has been declared Chalky Milk Time, International Chalky Milk Time. And if you try to, um, if you'd like to join us, any beverage that is available to you will work. If, you, if you've got, uh, you know, Anything. It could be hot Dr. Pepper. It could be horse and milk. It could be bacon milk. It could be almond milk. If you're allergic to chocolate, you know, it, it could be vanilla milk, strawberry milk. Well, just not you who, because that's disgusting. But even rusty tap water is acceptable. The important thing is, is this is a moment that we all enjoy a drink together. Doesn't matter what the beverage is. The importantness is the connection. So that's what Chalky Milk Time is all about. It happens every night at 1037. So wherever you are for the rest of your life at 1037, if you're awake, you got to go, oh, damn, it's Chalky Milk Time and get it together with whoever's there with you, your pets, anybody, and enjoy a moment. Okay? All right. So our California trip, <clears throat> we are trying to get there. Um, Aaron and I are going out to California. We're working on Paul's, uh, Paul Bunnell's new movie. Um, John Falatico produced John, uh, Paul Bunnell's directing a blind bargain. It is a, a remake of a lost film that was done by Lon Chaney. Oh my, Paul Bunnell is calling now. Paul, what are you doing? I'm I'm live streaming right now, Mr. Bunnell. I'm on the Twitcher. Yep, I'm I'm on the Twitcher and I'm on the YooHoo tube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next week we're gonna show Gassy Glove of Johnny X. You remember that movie? Oh yeah, we'll get you get everyone will get to see the new version. Yeah. I mean, we're right now we're simulcasting on both YouTube and Twitch. So So we can try and do that. I mean, with your movie we shouldn't have any problem, but we might have a problem with everything else cuz that seemed to be the problem with um Sugar Hill. I, the, yeah. the Duncan Hines commercial, the, 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 the jungle sounds, the stock jungle sounds in the movie, like so many things tripped us up uh, over on YouTube. So we'll give it a shot. We'll try to simulcast it. If, if well, it, YouTubers. Yeah, and can, can, I don't know, can you guys hear Paul coming out of the phone or am I just talking to? Oh, okay. All right. I don't. I actually. Yeah, th thank you, thank you, Paul. I can't wait to see you in California. It's going to be a stone cold gas. 
Okay. Yeah. We'll, 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 well, I'll give you a call later. All systems go. All right. That was Paul Bunnell, the director of Gassy Love of Johnny X. We're going out to California to to cover his behind the scenes of his brand new movie, A Blind Bargain. And uh, we want to be able to come home after we're done. So if you want to donate to our California trip, the other thing we'd like to do is meet some Sinsomniacs while we're out there. Maybe do a couple of events, you know, meet at a coffee shop or something, but try to meet with some Sinsomniacs. And, um, you know, maybe try to get a signing going somewhere. I don't know. We'll try and get whatever happening, whatever we can get happening. Um, but uh, Aaron and I are going to go out there, flying out there and driving back. So hopefully that will afford us some shenanigans for the show on the way back home. So uh, we have a, um, a GoFundMe, cinemainsomnia.com slash uh, LA trip. And that that's that's what that's that's what that's all about. Um, another thing that we like to do on the Twitch stream, usually really great with chalky milk time, is we like the Andy Cap. We're almost out of them. A Andy Cap snacks. You want me to come to Michigan and come visit? We'll have a hot dog at the hot dog place, Karen. Uh, Andy Cap snacks. There's a lot of different ones. I think there's like eleven different kinds. Somehow this like drunken wife beater gets it gets a whole array of snacks. Let's see here, we can play this real quick. Time, please, gentlemen. Yeah, joking, aren't you? I can't believe you. Every time we go out, you find new ways of embarrassing me. This character has two brands, or uh, more than two. Like a half a dozen at least. There's the ranch fries. There's the there's the onion rings. The hot onion rings, the barbecue fries. Uh anyhow, Andy Cap, we like to eat these Andy Cap snacks, the hot fries, the cheese fries. Mmm. Oh, bam. I'm going to really need these. After the hot fries, I'm going to definitely going to need chalky milk. Is it time yet? Oh, my gosh. Three, two, one. Chalky milk time, everybody. It is chalky milk time. That's right. Chalky milk time, everyone. Oh my gosh. Aren't we lucky? Um, so I already explained the rules to you. Uh, I hope I want to know what everyone's drinking. Uh, I'm I am of course gonna be sweet maple walnuts, Jimmy. Get in here. It's chalky milk time. I want pictures, darn it. Okay, so anyhow. Uh, uh, this is my Slurpee cup. Apparently, you can still refill this. I can still refill. I can take this down to 7-Eleven today and get a little more, get a little snifter of Slurpiness. Some cherry slush. Uh, Perry, actually, Perry's so excited about Chalky Milk Time that he started his own farm. Perry Dell. Where they, they milk the truckers for Chalky Milk. As as you know, milk milk comes from truckers. We learned this. Um, there's these milkmaids on the interstate that milk the truckers. Because I I mean I've seen I've drank a lot of milk in my life. I've never seen milk come out of a cow 
I've seen milk come out of trucks lots of times. So milk comes from truckers. That's the thing that we know. All right. So we're going to start this chalky milk time. Perry Dell Farms. They don't specify the free refill to use it for gasoline. You finally got your nest quick. Awesome. Well, smells good. Cheers, insomniacs. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Mm. You're having the dark chocolate almond silk. I've had that. That's great. I, I, I keep meaning to bring it here, but it's so delicious. I keep drinking it at home and not bringing it here. But the, the almond milk, the, the, the dark chocolate almond milk is delicious. Vampiric spirit says they do mocha almond milk creamer in their coffee, so it's sort of chalky milk. Silk is good. I don't know why you would name your liquid out of a fabric. Mm. Boy, that's good. Might go for seconds here. Mm. Of course, it's a little more fun to mix it up with a spoon, but I'm trying to consolidate space here. Hmm. Hmm. So our next episode, we've already broken ground on. I've been writing. I've been talking with a cat on the phone. It's hard. Just a lot of mewing, and things breaking, things getting pushed off tables. Um, but we have a cat as an executive producer for our next episode. Uh, the Mighty Huey started off just like you, an occasional associate producer on, on the newer episodes. And, uh, Mighty Huey had their name in the credits on a few episodes and um, then wanted to go bigger. And so... They are now an executive producer, which means they're producing the entire episode. This is a $3,000 investment. They get to help Mr. Lobo write the episode. They get to work themselves into the episode or things that they want in the episode. And they get to pick the movie. You know, as long as it's a movie that's available to us that we approve, they get to pick the movie. Uh, so it's kind of a, it's a really, uh, it's exciting we, you know, Aaron and I have been talking about trying to pull in uh, people from the private sector to be executive producers, and um, I did not think it would be someone's cat. But here we are. Here we are. Uh, but it's going to be an exciting episode. It's going to be a different episode. Just like I feel like Zombies of Sugar Hill was really culturally important, um, I feel like this is going to be culturally important also. Because that's a whole other world, right? The pet world. Um, and that's something that we're going to explore. And we're actually asking you folks to send in your pet videos. So uh, go to our website, to our video submissions page, and find out, you know, shoot horizontally. You know, if you got a phone like Miss Mittens, you want to shoot it sideways. So we can, it'll look good on TV. It'll fill the TV up. And, and, and hopefully it's not too loud where you're at. You know, so that we can hear everything well. And uh, just do your best, you know. Ten seconds long, you know. It's get your cat watching the cat, your cat watching the show or however you want. Something cat related. Um, I've seen the cat with the Mo Howard haircut. Kind of looks like Mr. Lobo a little bit. Uh, thank you, Spin Master Scott, for dropping that link on the video submissions. And for the YouTube people, it's cinemainsomnia.com slash video submission. Untapped market of pets. This is going to be a, a episode 
made by pets and for pets. Just like I feel felt like the Gamera, uh, I mean, Super Turtle meets Shovel Face, there was a lot of kid involvement with that episode. It was partially made by the kids. And that made it extra special. It came from an honest place. Uh, it is totally usable, I would assume. I, you know, we, 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 uh, we won't use everything we get, but we will pick our favorite things and we will add them into the episode. Maybe, maybe, Miss Wendy, maybe your cat needs to make a video. Yes, indeed. Um, I have not seen Godzilla X Kong yet. We were going to see it at the drive in. It started raining. I was so tired from the premiere the night before. Uh, we were at the 90th anniversary of the Shankweiler drive in. This is in Orfield, Pennsylvania. The oldest still operating. The oldest operating drive-in in the world. Shankweiler Drive-In. Tucked in a beautiful little neighborhood. I think it's three or four acres. It's not real big. Um, maybe I, I, I could be wrong about the acreage. I don't know how many acres it actually is. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a farm kid. I don't know what, how big an acre is. But anyhow, I'll take I'll take back the the a size uh, adjustment. But it's it's a it's a small drive in, you know. I mean, they could they could get a few hundred cars in there, but it's not a it's not massive. Um, and uh, it's it how is it still running? It's running well. They show it's. I mean, it doesn't have legs. It stays in one spot. But there's they show movies there. They do a, they do a, a split bill. They do double features, usually a new movie and an old movie, a, a repertory title and a new film. And they showed Twister from the '90s and Godzilla X Kong New Empire. And uh, is it one acre? Wise acre. Oh, a oh, one acre is around four hundred thousand or forty thousand square uh, forty thousand square feet is an acre. Three point eight eight acres, according to county records. Thank you, Brian Troutman. So, what did I say? Three or four uh, acres. Um, beautifully manicured lawn, beautiful restrooms. You could eat off the floor of that snack bar. Matt and Lauren, who used to do our pop-up drive-in here, uh, they own the place now, and uh, they didn't buy someone's failure. They've they've been in business since the '30s, and everything has been kept up. The neon has been kept up. The the lawn has been kept up. It's beautiful. Uh, and uh, no more math. <laughs> They inquired a story on Matt and Lauren last weekend. Yeah, that's wonderful. They deserve it. Nice to see the good guys win one once in a while. Anyhow, there was cake. They had vintage cars set up. They did a recreation of Old Man Shankweiler's original setup, which was just a sheet hanging. So they had his original setup with a bunch of 30s cars in the corner. I thought that was adorable. Uh... And uh, we watched Twister, and an actual tornado warning happened. This is this happened for real. We had an actual tornado warning during Twister. It was raining. We had our windshield wipers on, so we were getting the 4D Twister experience watching watching uh, that movie. Too bad that movie isn't isn't is isn't less misunderstood. But. Um, a lot of people love that movie. I think if you grew up with it, you have an affection for it. Matt and Lauren are much younger than Mr. Lobo, so they were they were, that's one of their favorites is Twister. Uh not that that's an ex I mean you can like Twister. I'm not <laughs> that, 
but I really was there for Godzilla and we didn't stay. So um, we'll have to maybe, maybe Tuesday, try and do the cheap seats for Godzilla. Cheap matinee. Because they won't comp Mr. Lobo in like the Shankweiler drive-in. Um, but uh, uh, the funny thing about the MacArthur drive-in is they used to use a tarp for the screen. It would rain and the tarp would shrink. Wow, that's really interesting. You saw Poltergeist in Dallas when you were a kid and E.T. and Clash of the Titans in the double feature. That was your drive-in experience. That's wonderful, Axel Hain. Drive-ins are magical places. Uh, they do good business there. The community wanted it to stay a drive-in. They didn't want it to be a Wawa or gas station. They didn't want it to be a bank. They wanted it to stay a drive-in. And Matt and Lauren got the loan from the bank and met the family, and the family liked them. They were able to take it over. Very proud of them. They're amazing people. Uh, the only thing bad about it is I miss doing our drive-in here in the parking lot of the studio. But we'll have to somehow man do do one without them. Or or maybe if they... They keep talking about coming back and doing one. It's like, you guys are too busy now. It's like, yeah, we got employees, though. We could come back and show movies in your parking lot. So maybe that'll happen when things calm down for now. Um, your sister saw something there. All right. Your first drive-in experience was Song of the South. Well, zippity doo -dah. Your first drive-in movie, Bill, was, was with your parents. It was Thunderball, Sean Connery. Didn't know what was going on, but enjoyed some of the spectacle. The escape module separating from the bad guy's yacht. Yeah, you know, that's a lot. That's a bonding experiment experience usually, right? A bonding experience with usually with dad, right? Seeing a James Bond movie. I, I, our, mine was the spy who loved me, I believe. Is that the one with the big underwater base? So that, that's the one I saw at the drive in with dad. And then we saw Moonraker later. Alien and Logan's Run on a double feature. Oh my God. Those are two movies that you would think it's hard to imagine that those movies came so close, came out so close together and they're so different. Rubber cement is also a bonding experience. Yes. Uh, so anyhow, uh, I was going to say about our, uh, California trip. I don't know if we, we showed you the drawing. We're going to have another drawing tonight. If you want to help us, I'm going to do a, a brand new drawing. If you want to help us on our trip or, uh, pick up an associate producer credit on Frozen Dead, which is the episode produced by Huey the Cat. Uh, or, uh, pick up something off our Amazon list, you know, those are probably the easiest ones to do. And then we'll put you in the drawing tonight for the drawing. Um, you know, put five bucks on the GoFundMe and uh we will be in the running for for the drawing tonight i'm gonna i'm gonna actually bring the paper in here
Um, is it Orko from He-Man? <laughs> oh, Rob got it right away. Um, Lobo Pan. So again, I, I, I'm going to draw this tonight. It won't, won't take long. I think we'll have this done before the movie starts. I want to try and start the movie here at 11. I'll probably put a little... I'll probably touch it up during the movie. Spin Master Scott, thank you for putting links up for things you can do if you want to win this drawing. A drawing made before your eyes with Mr. Lobo. Commemorating our, our great time here tonight. A little dry. See if I got a fresher pen here. All right, so uh, 
I am going to uh, touch that up. Thank you, Miss Monty. Mwah. I'm going to try to touch that up during the movie. That's the one who sh 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 pulled sh Shaggy's heart from his chest. What a robust trope that is in movies, pulling someone's heart out of their chest. First of all, if magic isn't involved, you've got to get through this part right here, right? Without completely pulping the person's heart. You got to get somehow get your hand around, then pull it out when it's literally hardwired into your whole body. Somehow scoop out all around it like a melon baller. Somehow sever it from everything that's inside and pull it all out. And it's still beating, right? Always in the movies, still beating. But we accept that, you know, it's just, oh yeah, pulled his heart out of his chest. Uh, so, um, oh, Karen, Karen donated to the trip. Karen, Karen, you are a wonderful and special person. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of our community. I am going to put your name on here. Karen, Karen. Karen, you should be getting a package from Mr. Lobo pretty soon with your fan kit. I don't like that, that people use Karen as a derogatory term. What, was, what if that was your name? You know what I'm saying? And then the second of all is, is that like, those basic bitches know what they're talking about. Pumpkin spice is delicious. Sometimes you need someone to talk to the manager. All right, that's okay. We'll, we'll have that discussion another time. I, justice for Karens. That's what Mr. Lobo is saying. Uh, so, Karen Karen is the first tonight. Did I miss anyone else while my back was turned doing the drawing? Is there someone else who did one of the things that's pinned to the top of the Twitch, like uh, the, the GoFundMe for the LA trip, which is cinemansomnia.com slash support. I don't know if in YouTube, if anyone is getting any of these links. Uh, or, or, or cinemansomnia.com slash LA trip is the LA trip, duh. And then cinemansomnia.com slash frozen dead is the associate producer for the new episode. And, um, and then I think what there's the Amazon list, cinemansomnia.com slash wish list, something like that. All right. So, So it's just so it's Karen's just getting this drawing tonight. Is that my is that what I'm understanding? We don't have another person who has has done any of the things. Five bucks or higher on the Patreon can get you can get you in on the drawing. The drawing for the drawing. Ivory Bow says her donation is on its way. Oh, thank you. All right, and you're in. You're in, Ivory Bow. Another lovely, lovely person. My God. Could there be more like spectacular people in this in this group? I say nay. Me, 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 me. Oh, you did too, huh, Ms. Mavis? Okay. Ms. Mavis. I wish I was like Charlie's Angels, you know, I, I could like, I could talk to all these spectacular low bets over a speaker, have them kill for me. And cats, yes, Huey, is, did Huey, did Huey join up tonight? I, Huey doesn't have to, Huey's already getting an associate producership. He's getting executive producership, I should say. You live this one, Scooby Doo vibe. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add something to. I'll add something to it. I'll, I'll, I'll darken it all up. <laughs> nya nya neko neko kaniko. Yes. Uh. -oh. 
Huey is in the loft playing with his new toys. Oh, that's wonderful. Love ooh, love o's, love o's or love oos. Brian Troutman just donated to the LA trip. Okay, all right. Is this for is this for you, Brian, or is it for Beatrix? Or is it for? Okay, be for Jill too. Is Beatrix with you? Beatrix. Another incredible eight-year-old uh, junior sleepless night Lobo Cub. She's in school today. Her first day of school in Australia. That's amazing. Wow. How exciting. Good. That's good, Hacksaw. Uh, I'm going to put my headphones on. Um, we're going to show start, get the, get started on this movie. This movie is going to dare you to stay awake. I did present this at Monster Bash a few years back. Uh, Monster Bash is a big horror con in Pittsburgh area. They're doing it again in July this year. So come see Mr. Lobo present The Brute Man at Monster Bash. I don't know when they'll program me. It's usually some insane hour, but at some point during the convention, I'll be hosting a film. They have movies all day and all night. Donate to the LA trip. We don't want Mr. Lobo and Aaron getting stuck halfway home. No, we, no one wants that. Ooh, the Brute Man, Sunday morning? Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to check the schedule. It's usually something like that. You saw me, uh, you, you, you saw me show the Voodoo Man at, you were there, Morbius 71, you, show, you were there when we showed Brute Man at Monster Bash. I think I know who you might be then, Morbius. wonders of the metric system and how we all evolve from kangaroos yes that's what they teach in australian schools dale all right so i'm going to have to ask you all to take the insomniac oath now i know this is not a cinema insomnia episode this is just a misunderstood movie monday but we must never forget never forget hold on we need dramatic lighting here never forget the horror the tragedy of Devil Bat's daughter. We must always do the oath. Always. Okay. So without any further, further, never forget. Without any further, further, further ado, please assume the position and repeat after Mr. Lobo. I. As an initiated member of the Sleepless Nights of Insomnia, do solemnly swear to watch the movie, the whole movie, and nothing but the movie. So help me, Mr. Lobo. You may stand down. Emoth. And now, without any further, 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 further ado, Cinema Insomnia proudly presents for your misunderstood movie Monday. Voodoo Man. Voodoo Man. Here it comes. There it is. How's the volume? Let's bring it up a little bit. 
John Carradine, George Zuko, Bela Lugosi, all the greats. Ah, is this, have we been kicked off YouTube yet? Let me check. Bela Lugosi is your other dream husband. Oh, your other dream husband is at other than Ash, huh? Where, how far does Mr. Lobo come down on the list? Oklahoma, the future. That's right. You're a stranger in this part of the country, aren't you? Well, sort of. Now, you keep right on going till you come to a fork in the road. That's about four miles from here. Then turn right. There may be a detour sign between here and there. They've been fixing the road. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. How are we doing over on YouTube? Time you can close up. Okay, thank you, sir. Hello, yes, listen. A young girl just left here alone. Not a minute ago. He'll be right over. YouTube stream's still going strong. Okay. YouTube's holding so far. That was the kind of road closed sign that I wanted for our haunted house special. And I was a little disappointed in what we got. It was like the only prop we gave to somebody else to do. I feel like John Carradine invented grunge. We won't hurt you. Maybe, Dale, you're going to have to find out. Touches her hair. How creepy. Girl motorist missing. For the third time this month, authorities have been mystified by the complete disappearance of a motorist. In each case, a girl somewhere on Laurel Road. The mystery is intensified by the fact that there was no trace of the car despite a careful search by the state and local police. Several theories have advanced, but to this date, every effort to run down each clue has ended in nothing. Newsflash, women drive cars. Did you send for me, SK? No, oh, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this news item about missing girls ought to work out. An interesting story. Kind of Sweet story. maple walnuts. Put it on page five. But SK, I'm supposed to get Do we have any bi bikini shots of the girl? Oh, that's right. I forgot all about it. I'm sorry. Skip it. I'll get one of the other boys to tackle it. Well, if you know her, I can knock this it out. This guy's no back. Perry White. Oh, we'll see. In the meanwhile, uh, give it some thought. Okay. You know Bye. what? You can call me chief if you want to. I don't hey, care. That's a fine thing to be doing on my honeymoon, thinking of horror stories. Can you imagine the low-key newspaper editor? Good evening. 
You know what? We'll either publish it or, I don't know, maybe the other newspaper will put it out first. It doesn't really matter. That's okay. Put it in. As long as the people get their news. Ain't another gas station this side of Twin Falls. Oh, is that so? Yep. Gee, your windshield's sort of dirty. Gee, your windshield's sort of dirty? Is, th is that a brand of shampoo? Shall I check your water and oil? Mind I should wipe the dead bugs off your windshield? Oh. Well, I guess better anyhow. <laughs> That'll be ninety-four dollars. It's okay, I guess. It's the editor of High Times. <laughs> like far out, man. Uh, I mean, nobody pays attention to page numbers, right? How much do I owe you? Oh, I'm checking your tire. Never mind that. Here. How? How about your battery? It's okay. Listen, I got some classic car polish, only 50 cents a can. I use it myself, I show you. No. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Keep the change. Darn fool, you didn't even give me a chance to put the gas in. I mean, you could have said, hey, you don't have any gas. You might have stopped for that. You guys should pull a fast one on me. No, you pulled a fast one on yourself. I'll go. Easy, red flannel. I'll take care of this. Can you tell me if I'm on the right road to Twin Falls? Yes. You're a stranger in this part of the country, aren't you? Yes, I haven't been this way in some time. Well, you keep right on going till you come to a fork in the road. It's about four miles from here. Then you turn right. There may be a detour sign between here and there. They've been fixing the road. All right, thanks. Sam. Yes, sir? Go check the meters, will you? Okay. Are we supposed to believe that George Zuko does, has any kind of normal job other than being a villain? Doctor? Another young girl just left here. Alone. Very suitable. Yes, I'll be right over. Look at these cars, man. Boy, am I glad to see you. What seems to be the trouble? I ran out of gas. I was just trying to make up my mind whether I should hike back five miles and punch a guy in the nose or camp here for the night. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to... Uh... Show you back five miles? Uh-uh, I'm in a hurry. But I will take you to the nearest gas station this direction. Lady, I'll take you up on that. They had cars like this at Shankweiler's for their 90th anniversary uh, yesterday. You picked a bad spot to run out of gas. Oh, I didn't pick it. That sap in the service station back there picked it for me. I paid him for six gallons of gas, and all I got was a barbershop monologue. <laughs> I remember that place. I stopped there to ask my way. Oh, you a stranger around here? A barbershop right. monologue? Yeah, is. Down here on a vacation? Not exactly. I've been drafted. Hmm? For a wedding. Oh. I'm maid of honor. Whose wedding? My cousin, Betty Benton. She's marrying some sap from Hollywood, a scenario writer or something like that from one of the studios. I love this fast-talking jargon. That's right. Like, How did, did know? radio Betty's start this? Seven. We're like... They talked okay. fast on radio, and then they, like, you know, carried it over Barry? into oh, movies. Yes. I shave him every morning. You shave? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meet the sap, Ralph Dawson. I'm really terribly sorry. I, I honestly didn't mean That's it. That's all right. Skip it. Dr. Billy, hi, welcome. We're streaming on YouTube and Twitch tonight. We're watching The Voodoo Man. Don't tell me you're out of gas, too. No, I have plenty of gas.
You just like create an EMP. Fool. She's not alone. Well, the battery's all right. I'll take a look. They've got, I mean, this is like the 40s, and he's like watching them on closed circuit television and making their engine stop with a flip of a switch. There's a guy with a stain. I can't find the trouble. Well, maybe it's a switch. Oh, thank you, Morbius, for joining Patreon at five dollars. I will add you in the drawing for the drawing. I'll do a little more work on the drawing too. I know. Gremlin. You know those little fellows that play 